Hey guys, it's PC Hacker 11 here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a cool text distortion effect. So, as you can see here on my desktop, I have a wallpaper that has my my name PC Hacker 11 on it, and it has the text distorted so it looks like it's tilting back into the into the darkness and it has a reflection and it's glowing blue. I don't know how to call this effect so I'm just going to call it the text distortion effect and so I'm going to show you how to make this text distortion effect inside of Adobe Photoshop. This will work in Adobe Photoshop CS4, CS3, I'm not sure about any other versions but I'm pretty sure it will work. I'm going to just demonstrate this to you guys in version CS4. Now for this tutorial you're not going to need any downloads, you're just going to need to follow my steps exactly or not exactly just uh, good enough so you have your wallpaper or whatever at your own personal preference so I'm gonna go up in here in Photoshop and I'm gonna go up to file create a new document and I'm gonna name it 3d text distort and then here where it says width and height like always I'm gonna put in my screen resolution and I'm gonna make sure everything's set the way it is right here except for with width and height you put in your screen resolution or your own dimensions depending on how you want to make it so I'm gonna click OK now and it should come up to this so now I'm gonna go up to edit and I'm gonna fill it in black just like I always do so now with my clean back black background here I'm gonna go down and create a new layer and I'm gonna grab my text tool I'm just going to have it with whatever font I'm in now, and I'm going to type in PC Hacker 11, and I'm just going to maybe move it into the center. And now here's the part where we want to make our text able to distort. So we want to go over here into our layers box and find a layer that we have our text selected on, right click it, and then click here where it says convert to shape. As you see here, it'll be all fuzzy, which means it's converted to a shape. Now what we want to do once we have it converted to shape is we want to go up here to edit, transform path, and then click distort. Now here comes the fun part, the part where we get to distort everything. So I'm thinking about maybe doing a little bit like that. Maybe moving that up a little. Maybe down a little. Move that up. I'm going to move it over here and I'm going to make that all the way back there but uh, I'm going to just have it like this uh, wait a second just straighten that out a little put that back a little more and yada 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 just that's good enough for now so I'm gonna keep it the way it is right here when I select a little tool over here it'll say do you want to apply the transformation I'm gonna apply then we have our transformation applied and it looks like this now we're gonna go ahead and make our text look a little cooler we're gonna go back over into our layers box again and we're gonna right click it and go to blending options then we're gonna make sure outer glow is selected check mark that here where the color is for outer glow just check in there and make the outer glow whatever color you want I think I'm gonna make it blue and click OK and we just want to go down here to size and make the outer glow size a little bigger that way it has this outer background blue glow now here where it says inner glow you can add in an inner glow make sure that's check mark too I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make it white for my own personalization reasons. And then we want to go over here to where it says blend mode and make sure that's on multiply. That way you can actually see what blending changes are in. Then you can change the size to whatever you want. But since I have it white, it doesn't really change anything. Now I'm going to click OK. And now that we have our cool text like that, we want to go over here into the layers box again, right click our text layer and click duplicate layer. I'm going to click OK, and then we have a complete copy of that layer. Now what we want to do is go up to Edit, Transformation Path again, and then click on Flip Vertical. Now it will have our duplicated layer flipped vertical, so now what we do is just align it underneath of our text, and it looks like that. Now it doesn't really look much like a reflection anymore, I mean, we want to get the reflection looking like this in the background. So what we're going to need to do is go up into Edit, 
transformation path again, and then click on skew. Then we just grab this little one in the middle, drag it up, and make sure it matches with our other text. We just grab a little thing over here again and click apply. Then it looks like we already have it reflected. Now, in order to get it reflected looking like this one, we go into this, and this step right here is going to take some time. It doesn't take that much time to do, but it takes time for you to get it right, because uh, the first time I did it, I screwed this up a million times. So, first thing we want to do is we're going to go down here to this little button right here, which will apply a layer mask. Click on Add Layer Mask, and it'll add a layer mask to our layer down there. Now what we want to do is go over here and grab our gradient tool. Now if it's not selected as the gradient tool, it could be selected as the paint bucket tool. Just click and hold it down to select the gradient tool. Now what we want to do is we want to click and make sort of a diagonal angle. And it'll cut off some of the text. And it should look like that. So uh, I did it sort of right the first time. It doesn't look exactly as great as this one. But that's good enough for me. So you just grab the grad the uh, yeah the gradient tool and drag it out to make it look like that. And uh, if your gradient doesn't do the right things, then if it doesn't look like this, you might have forgotten to add the layer mask. And uh, here up here in my gradients toolbar, make sure it's like this or any other preferences would you choose? My preferences is I just choose this little white and black thing up there and then just clicked OK. Well, anyway, now that I have my text distortion, reflection, wallpaper, whatever, I'm going to go and save it. So, save as 3D text distort. I'm going to save it as a JPEG, save it to my desktop. So, okay. Now, I'm going to go ahead and set it as my wallpaper. And it looks like that. So, anyway, that is how you make a cool text distortion effect or 3D text wallpaper. So, uh, that one isn't exactly as good as this one because I made this one a little bit bigger than the last one. But this here, this one is just a quick way to demonstrate you to do this. Now, you can put this over any other picture you want to or add it to any of your photos or just make a cool background like mine right here. But anyway, that is how, that's how you make a 3D distorted text effect, which I think I'll call this video. So it's this is how you make a 3D distorted text effect inside of Adobe Photoshop. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you later.